All right, welcome back to MLB The Show 19. No money spent. We got some packs to open real quick. Uh, I got some other things to do too. We go to events. We go to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Collect those. Now we got the what the fuck? Oh. oh I didn't even realize I'm diamond now. Okay. I just reached diamond. Which means I got one of those fucking uh, sick packs. Nice. All right, so from that, we did get Walker Bueller now, and I'm debating selling him, although I do need to collect the finest. He's worth like 30K. So it's like, yeah, not really probably worth it to keep. Uh, we also need to go through the collection real quick. Because in events, here we go. In events, I went 10 and 1, 10 and 2. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to quick sell that. Sadly, did not... Uh, Get a card that's worth anything. I don't think anything under like an 89 anymore is even worth a damn thing. Um, also got this Machaniger. Forgot about him too. I'm just going through my collection really quickly because I might have some golds that I forgot about. I don't care about the silvers really. Just the golds. Uh, it doesn't look like a... I can't believe I don't own that Trevor Bauer. How do I not own Trevor Bauer? Maybe I'll pull him here in our packs. Um, all right, that's it. So, currently got 40k on me. We're gonna go open packs. I got almost 30 standard packs, two bonds I have packs, some uh, tops now. No, what? Some headliner packs is what I mean. Got some headliner packs for free from the Conquest, uh, Legends of Flashbacks, uh, two uh, finest packs, my rank seasons packs, this, which. I mean, it's either going to be a free 5k, or if I don't own some of them, I'll take them. And then I also have this, which I didn't know I was going to get. Um, I don't know which ones I don't own, but I'll, I'll take whoever I don't own that I usually take. And then we also got this where we get to choose two. And I think I don't own a few people here, so pick up whoever I don't own. But we're going to start off with the standard packs. Actually, no, we're not. Um, we're going to go open these because these just give silvers. Nothing really crazy in the, these. So those give silvers. This gives a gold. This only gives a nameplate. So we can open this. And then this is a Europe choice pack. So I don't really care about this. All right, let's open our standard packs now. Gold. Don't own it. All right, I'll keep it. Four more of the standard packs. Not expecting anything out of these. These are, these packs are garbage. Uh, the regular standard packs. The show packs aren't bad. But these are atrocious. Alright, 300 stubs. Got a silver. Shocking. Don't own it. Alright, I'll take it. Bunch of bronzes. These 21 packs are probably going to be way better. Silver already. Look at that. <laughs> already pulled one silver. Which is what I did with those, like, what? Seven standard packs? I think I had seven. Something like that. I don't remember. 18 more, and we pull a diamond thing. Now, these I don't keep. I don't see a point in keeping those. Those are a thousand stubs. And you don't pull them often. I don't know if those actually rob you of diamond uh, diamond pulls. If they rob you from diamond pulls, like diamond player pulls, that pissed me off quite a bit. I don't think they do, though. Wouldn't make any sense. I tend to pull them a lot more. Twelve more. Haven't seen a single gold player. Only a few silvers. And a million bronzes. Jesus. It's the same pack over and over and over again. Well, there we go. A bit different. Okay. It's heating up. Now give me a gold. God damn. Come on. I went from 78 to 78 to 79. No. Five more. Come on. Oh, God. Gonna pull not even a gold from these, huh? That's rough. Jesus. What do I have? Almost 30 standard packs? Almost 30 packs, and I didn't pull a single gold. Wow, okay. Um, let's do... These are these can be completely random, so I kind of want to open them last. 
I don't like opening the uh, random ones first, so let's go with these. Now, is there a single one I don't own? I feel like I bought all these guys. Oh, I don't own Cal Ripken. Oh, there's one. Is there any other ones? Robin Young. I'll just take him. Uh, let's open this. So, who do I not have? I don't have Tony Gwen. Well, that, there you go. That's my pick. <laughs> I don't have Tony Gwen. There you go. Can't believe I don't have that card yet. I'll do with this 10th inning packet, too. I actually have no clue I'm going to take in this. It's kind of difficult. Uh, we'll open the pennant pack. I want to see who I don't own in this. So, I do own Matt Bush. Yeah, I bought him. God, I bought these cards for way too much. Now, they go for nothing. Uh, I'll do you on a Suspedis. Suspedis. Jake McGee. Might do him. Oh, I don't have Matt Harvey, actually. You know what? I'll do Matt Harvey, then. It's not a bad card. So we got a gold and a diamond from that. We'll open the all-star pack. Just to get a gold. Pete, Al Pete Alonzo. What? Jeff McNeil. Come on, now. Uh, and then I'll do this. <sighs> Freddy or Sean Green. AJ Burnett, I really don't think he's an option. Uh, I don't think he's going to make this. Yeah, he's not going to make it to that rotation. I could put Sean Green maybe in left, but like this guy's hitting 412. He's not doing bad. I might do AJ Burnett. I do like AJ Burnett. I like his pitch mix. I feel like he could pitch better for me than Juan Marichal. You know what? Fuck it. Let's let's do him. Let's get some depth in the pitching. We don't have enough. I mean, yeah, we do. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, let's try him out. I do want to try him out. I think he's a pretty solid card, so I do want to try him out. Uh, so let's start with the bomb packs, and then we'll just we'll go from left to right. We got a gold. Maybe Severino. Quick sold. Babe Ruth. Quick sold. All right. Three headliner packs. Two silvers. Set seven. A gold. Sunny Gray. Okay. And two silvers. Okay. Well, Legends of Flashbacks, probably just going to get a gold. Yup. Don't remember the last time I've gotten a diamond from these packs. And then two finest packs. Okay. Let's see what we get from these. 394 strikeouts. Isn't there only one pitcher in set one? Yep, there is. There's only one pitcher in set one. Yep, Tigers. Uh, I can't remember if I actually own this card, though. I can't remember if I... I'm pretty sure I bought him. I'm pretty damn confident that I own every finest card except for, like, rare tier guys. There's only a few rare guys that I don't own. Come on. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll just quick some just really. Fuck's sake. Okay. What do we got? Zero hit set three. Oh my god, dude, I know who it is. I pull the same fucking cards out of these packs, dude. Same cards every single time. No vari variety. Like, literally, I'm just, I'm not pulling the same base guys. I'm pulling, or wait, what am I saying? I'm pulling the same base guys. Like, only two. There's like four, or maybe even more from each set for base. And yet, I'm still just pulling the same fucking ones. It's just boring. Oh, all right. Let's go sell that Matt Boyd. I don't even know if that's profit. I don't know if that's about five. I'm pretty sure that's about 5k. Um, okay, so if we go to collections, uh, we go to Honus, Wagner. I'm thinking maybe like I buy a few. Well, how many am I at actually now that I think about it? I'm at 33 now. Okay. I'm thinking maybe like I buy one card like this. Okay, who's a cheap um, signature I don't own yet? Let's do 6k. What? He's not in the market? Fuck, alright. 8k. Keith I own. Ozzy I own. Okay. Freddy I don't. So we can go ahead and buy him. Go ahead and buy him for 5600. Sean Green, I'll buy him for 5,600 or 5,557. I own Steve Finley. I own Matt Holiday. I 
Hong Yin can Sir Carry with JB and a Russell Martin, Matt Carpenter, yep, I own all these cards. Alright, so with the rest of the stubs, we're gonna go ahead and buy headliner bundles. That's what we'll do. They're more on the fun side, you know. I like it. I wanna see if I can uh, possibly Oh, I do not want to buy stubs. No. It's not what we do here. Uh, Alright, so we don't got a single one above three. That's not good. Usually you want one above three because it does. It seems like uh, you have better odds when they're stacked. When one is stacked, you will most likely pull a diamond. Found that out on my main account when I bought a shit ton. Let's see, set six. Yeah, with how we how it's stacked right now, we could be looking at not even pulling a diamond. Even though they're one in ten chances. Gold again. Dave Robertson, quick sell. Set nine. Silver. Two set elevens. Nada. Not a damn thing. Gold. Max Kepler. One set 12. Yeah, okay, this is really stupid how they made these headliners. It's like your odds come based on how many you have of one pack. That's basically how it works, and that's just so stupid. That is so stupid. It's like, oh, if you have one, you're not going to pull a diamond. If you have two, you're not going to pull a diamond. If you have three, you might get, you might pull a diamond. If you have four, you're probably going to pull a diamond. If you have any more than that, you're going to pull a diamond. But if you have separate ones of one, you're not going to pull a single diamond, even if you have, like, 40 of them. That is so stupid. You could buy over 40 of these packs, but if they're not stacked and they're very separate, you're not going to pull a single fucking diamond. That is ridiculous. Well, we're going to end it with uh, no no diamond pulls on the headliner packs yet again. <laughs> Actually, George Springer, yeah, he's going to become another lineup for Tony Gwynn because he's going to be starting now. Do I want to start Freddy on the bench? I do. But I also want to take out Muncie and put in George Springer. I haven't been good with Muncie. I don't like his swing. His, yeah, he, he sent like 600 for me, but like that's all offline, so it doesn't even count. We do have the uh, finest Walker Bueller though, but I do think I'm going to keep him. I don't really see a point of getting rid of him. The thing about him is that like he goes for 31k, but there's nobody that really goes for cheap. Oh, fuck. I say that as I look at a card that's cheaper. Let's see. Is there any cards I don't own that I should pick up? So I'm pretty sure I own all these cards. It's just rare tier, guys. 26k, 23k. No rare tier guys down there. 24k for Xander Bro guards, but he's from the event, so I'm probably just gonna end up buying him. Or not buying him, uh, pick him up. <sighs> One so it's 20k? Are you fucking kidding me? That's it? Fuck, now I do want to sell Walker Bueller. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, yeah, Um, we're probably going to get into a game. It's uh, I don't know what's going to happen. We're either about to get into a game or um, I'm going to just have more packs open and do stuff because I am only 120 stars away. So, yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Welcome back to No Money Spent. The team is looking good. We got Ichiro Suzuki in right field. Currently two for three. Hoping I do better on him on this count. There's a lot of cards. Um, it's strange. Where I'll suck with them on one account, but I'm amazing with them on another. It's very odd that it's like that for me, but it is. As in, like, this guy has 18 <laughs> innings pitch and he has under a two year, right? But he has almost a four on my main. It's very, very weird. We are going to keep Walker Bueller, by the way, on the squad. I don't see a point getting rid of him when I col I want to collect all of the finest I can just for um, going to here. We go to the 8th inning. I'm currently at 585 stars. I need to get to 600 to get to this. But the one I really want to focus on is ninth inning. Here I'm at 484. 
I'm getting close. I'm getting there. We got finest set one pack. Um, I looked at eighth inning. I'm at 585. Wait, yeah, no, I don't think I was actually. No, I don't know why I kept on going to eight, um eighth inning. That's not where I meant to go to. Although I'm only 15 stars away, and all I need is the eighth inning voucher. Who's Andre Dawson, Tom Seaver, and Jeff Bagwell? Huh. Well, when it comes to the ninth inning. I want to get to 600 on here because we do get a finest elite pack a guaranteed finest and we're getting finest packs along the way all we need to do is collect the ninth inning voucher and collect 36 of the of uh finest cards we're already at 26 we're only 10 away which is honestly not that difficult considering they're not that hefty of a price right now so it's really not that bad but let's go to our packs check them out we got three standards up on his ad pack three headliner packs and april tops now pack i know pretty shocking they don't you know you don't expect to see one of those in uh december <laughs> but we have one of them uh legends of flashbacks pack which can includes a decent pull not choice though one in ten chance we got a prestige gear up pack a finest set one pack one in four for a rare if we get a rare we actually don't have any of the rares in here i don't think maybe we have one we might have matt chapman i'm not sure uh, but then we got our 10th te inning boss pack and our 10th inning 200 star pack. I might sell the boss. I do need the stubs to do what I want to do right now. But uh, yeah, let's go. Three standards. Get a silver, Chris Archer. I don't need quick sell for 100 stubs. Jesus, no point to that. Another silver. Okay. Last standard pack. And we pull a silver a silver for every single one of the packs not bad uh ball is a hat pack guarantees a diamond but it's a one in 15 chance so yeah we're just gonna go for it see if we just get a gold and we just get a gold we get no center guard one of the top end golds not bad all right we'll open the um this actually sucks <laughs> this pack sucks yeah gold i'm not a fan of that pack honestly they had those stick around for way too long they uh they kind of got dry like didn't really care for them anymore Oh, we got a gold. All right, Tommy Canely. Every gold is basically a guaranteed thousand stubs. We'll open this April uh, Top Snow Pack. We pull a silver. The silver's worth 836 stubs. I'm going to keep them just because I might be doing monthly collections after Honus Wagner. All right, we get another gold. Wilson Ramos. All right. Highlighter Pack. Are we going to get another gold? I'll take all golds for every single one of them. No, we only get silvers at the end here. 166 stubs. I will take that, though. Uh, let's take the Prestige Pack. We get a pair of glasses worth 7,600 stubs. Yeah, I don't really care about the gear. I uh, I just end up quick selling that stuff. Let's do let's do this. Barry Larkin's worth the most, so I'm just gonna take him just in case I decide to sell. Um, but if I don't, then I'll just keep him. I'll probably keep him. Besides, Barry Larkin's the only guy I haven't really touched. I took Christy Matthews into my main, bought um. Dale Murphy debuted him, wasn't too good with him, so I'm hoping I'm good with him. Uh, okay, so who's got the highest quick sell? Mike Schmidt. All right, so we're going to take Mike Schmidt, most, like, most likely against some. Um, what do we get in the final set? One pack. We get a base. That sucks. All right, we'll quick sell Matt Boyd, and then we'll go ahead and sell um, Mike Schmidt. The thing is, if I do want him later down the line... The um, extra innings do give us uh, a free at least one, but you get to choose at least one boss. I don't know if it's going to be more than that, but you do get to choose at least one boss of all of them. So if, if, if you don't know that, that, that was announced on stream. In their last stream of the of this game, they, uh, they announced that there will be extra innings and the extra innings are going to have just everything. That's how, that's how they're ending it off. They're just, you just get to choose from everybody, which is cool. Um, but all right, so we're gonna have a hundred and we're, we're basically probably gonna have around 130 K after that man is sold. So if I do want to collect the bosses, I need Ted Williams, who's going to cost me 52 K. I need Johnny bench. Who's going to cost me 60. Oh, oh, eh, yikes. That is expensive. Who's the last guy? It's um, Ted Williams, Johnny Bench, Ernie Banks. Oh my god. Bruh, what? Hold up. 66k to 74? 
bring me chill, dude. What the fuck? Wow, okay. That is uh that is pricey. I'm actually curious to look at some of these. 303. Uh, I already collected the first in collection, actually. That's how we got that boss pack. I didn't even complete this. Wow. Um, okay. Which includes Mad Bomb. Oh, if I could get my hands on that Mad Bomb. If I could get my hands on that Mad Bomb. Well, let's see. Uh, 8 plus 8. So we're at 16 stars. Uh, 19, 27, 32, 40, 48, um, 53, 58, 66, yep, <laughs> 71, 79, 79 stars just off that, so we'd be at 199 stars, yeah, we'd be at, um, 70, be at, yeah, we're at, we'd be at 199 stars, plus the 30 from doing this, thing is that we'd have to be at least 225 so yeah we'd be at 225 plus the second ending voucher yeah we would actually be able to finish this and get our hands on mad bum Ooh, okay and we could get this which could give us one of these cards which are usually pretty pricey and i don't think i own all of them i think i own these two guys i don't think i own aj pollock or friends i definitely don't own francisco liriano definitely don't own that guy um that's actually not bad. Um, the second inning voucher, I, I think I own. I, th I think I still own Cy Young, if that's the guy I got my hands on. I think I, I think I got Cy Young. One sec, let me check. No, I don't. Um, okay. Oh shit! I took Rich Gossage and sold him, didn't I? I did. That's exactly what I did. Ah, that was dumb of me. Here's the good thing about this uh, boss pack, though. He's a center fielder. Andrew Jones goes for jack shit. I don't know why. I guess it's because everybody really just took him. So, oh, I own him. That's perfect. So actually, I'm just saving stubs out of, uh, out of that. So then, it would really only cost me 60k. And if we go look at the 98 map bomb, he costs only 34k. His price went down. He used to be one of the bosses that actually stuck around on price. And he went down on price. Of course he did. Of course. Oh, that sucks. I thought he I thought he held his value. I really did. I really thought he held his value. Um, we don't even have third inning done. Which, when it comes down to it, I guess I'll take Roberto Alomar, really. I, JV, I don't have good history with. Um, we Okay, so we don't have this done, so that's 200. 201. 276. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 we could get this done. We could get with this done with ease, and it looks like second inning is not really pricey. Um, you got Mad Bum, who's only 34k. You got him, who's 23. Do I own him? I do. Fuck yes! Cheaper. It's just it's just getting cheaper. Who's the last guy? It's 92 Miggy, isn't it? I think it's 92 Mickey. He's one of the guys that didn't end up buying this guy. Fucking holds his price. I don't know why. Why in the hell is this card pricey? There is a 99 Miguel Carrera in the game. He's faster. He's got better fielding. He's got more vision. He's got more pop. He's got more contact. And this man is like, you could you could buy three 99 Miggies for the price of this guy. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you? Are you fucking kidding me? Look at this. Where, where's this price? Right here. 15k. You could actually almost buy three full Miggies at uh, the uh, the sell now price. That, that's fucking ridiculous. Jesus, man. He's the one issue, but I guess because I already have um, Vlad, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Um... But what's after that? So I'd be taking a Roberto Alomar out of that. Or just, I guess, the most expensive. Uh, who is the most expensive? JV's 80k. Oh. What? 80,000? 53,000? I feel like Roberto Alomar goes for a ridiculous amount. 90k? What? Straight up, if I got that done and I actually handed in those bosses, I would be looking at profit. 
Wow, I could actually look at profit? That's shocking. This, yeah, I already have it done, sadly, because if I didn't have it done, I could end up choosing Billy Wagner, like I think I did at the past. And yeah, that man, that man goes for a lot. Um, because he's one of the only lefties in the game that's so reliable. Yeah, 150k. I mean, what what else do you gotta say? That, that card's filthy. That card is filthy, and it makes sense that he goes for that much. I think my main goal right now is to just get this further completed. Uh, I want to get to my finest elite pack and probably choose, I don't know, maybe Bellinger. I wasn't good with them on budget cuts, so I'm kind of hesitant about that. I'm thinking more hater. I haven't taken hater in any of the things, so it, I, I wouldn't mind doing that. This is just a signature uh, pack, so I'm, I'm really hesitant on doing that. It's Jeff Bag. You got to collect Jeff Bagwell, Andre Dawson, and Tom Seaver. Well, why would you? Why would I ever do this for one thing? I guess you do get the cards too, so it's like, eh, okay, you do earn cards out of it. But it's kind of like the lamest ones. It looks like it cost me all my stubs. Yeah, it would. It would cost me around how many stubs I have. I I, I would have maybe like five k left uh, if I did that. I really don't know what I want to do here. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too sure. These guys go for dirt cheap, right? No, they actually hold a price. That's funny. Everybody shits on these cards, and they're like, "This is the worst bosses we've had all year." That's what they or the worst bosses at least in a while. That's what people were saying nonstop. Yet they have a high value. It's like, uh, what? You're gonna shit talk them, but then you're gonna keep them with a high value. Um, okay. I think the cheapest, yeah, no, this is one of the most expensive because this, this in my opinion, um, would I call it the best? No, no, this is 100% the best. Mike Schmidt, Mike Trout, and Albert Pujols. This, this, the seventh inning is the second best one. Or, sorry, sixth inning. Sixth inning was the second best one. Tenth inning was the best one. Seventh inning was decent. It was decent. I mean, you had some names in there, like Andre Dawson, Tom Seaver, Jeff Begg. Well, I mean, you had names, but ninth inning was lame. These guys are kind of lame, too. I'm not going to lie. Ted Williams, I, I don't find a big deal over that guy. And Ernie Banks, yeah, I don't know a single person who's good with him. This was a really good one. I actually really like this one. It's cheap, too. 29k. 70. Okay, it's only Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson's the only cheap guy. Probably because everybody took him. Um, Yet again cheap cheap 150k <laughs> uh there, yeah there's not really a cheap one you know there's not really just one out there that's actually really cheap i don't know what, i don't know what i want to do right now i don't know if i want to try and complete this at the moment because i probably won't with 130k i'm at 37 out of 60 i mean i could go for it i really could okay yeah guys are really cheap right now you know what let's go for it so let's let's sort by price. We could get like 13 for 10k. So I mean, hey, why not? I think our main goal right now is to finish on the swag. So I should do that. 10k. So we already own Keith Hernandez. We already own Steve Finley, Ozzy Smith, Sean Green. Do we own him? Yes. Freddie. Yes. Not whole day. I think so. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yep. Yes. Okay. AJ Burnett. Do I own him? Yeah. I'm Ricky Killian. All right. So we're gonna bump this up to 11k. Make this 10,000 and one. Nobody. All right. 11,500. All right. So we got three new guys. Aren't these all out of the same pack too? Jack Morris, don't own. Dante Pichette, don't own. And Catfish Hunter, I don't own. Perfect. So, we'll put in buy orders for them. I want to actually like get this done with a de decent amount of stubs. You know, I don't want to spend all my stubs on 10 fucking guys. I want to try and actually get a bunch of them. 74, 36. Alright. Go. Now let's do 12,000. Eleven thousand one. 
Okay, so it's still these guys. So I'm gonna bump this up to 11,500. Because neither of them are that high. 12,500. Nobody's showing up. Okay. 13,000. And we got three new guys. Oh, wow. Okay, we got some higher end guys here. Okay. So we'll take Justin Upton. I have bad history with, but I'd like to give him another shot. This guy I've actually never touched. Be interested in using him. And Richie Ashburn. Never even considered using him. I'm interested. Okay, so that's three more guys. So we've gotten six guys for about less than 60k, maybe 60k, something like that. Not bad. I think 50k actually. 130. Yeah. So we got about six guys for 50k. That's solid. Who's the most expensive here? Okay, so we're going 13,001. And I'll bump this up to 13,500. We're going to start seeing a lot more guys here. Yeah, look at that. Three more guys. All right. Um, Gary Anderson. Do I own him? For some reason, I thought I owned him. All right. So we're going to put in a buy order for him. Put in a buy order for Brandon Phillips. And and it's slaughter a guy who was actually gonna debut at one point but then i ended up selling him because a uh, like i think stub sale came around i was like shit i should uh, take advantage of this most expensive is thirteen thousand. okay so we're just gonna do thirteen thousand five hundred. might as well just do that fourteen thousand three new guys Ooh, bunch of new guys okay so we're gonna start with bill mazeroski All right, Ryan Zimmerman. I actually really like this card. All right, Cole Hamels. I actually already own. Okay, Lou Brock. Larry Doby. Only 9K for this man. Well, wow, that's a fucking steal right there. And then Luis Gonzalez for 10K. And then I'm pretty sure we're out after that. Yep. But that makes it so at the end of the day, we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen new signatures. Fourteen for 130k. So we spend an average of less than 10k on the signatures. So that's gonna make us go from 37 to like what? 51? I think 51. Yeah, we're going to get to 51 signatures. Wow. We were just about to get to this card. We were getting close. He's only 12,000 requests. What's with he for that? Jesus. That guy used to be fucking nothing. Aubrey Huff? How much has he gone up? Oh, okay. His buy order is pretty cheap. Yeah, see, like this guy he goes from. Yeah, see, his buy order is really cheap. Just like. Uh, he, he's like the buy order of Ryan Zimmerman, but, but yeah. Lee Smith, God, one of the most overpriced relievers in the game. This card sucks. All right, well, we got 14 signatures on the way. So I think this is where I'm going to end the episode just because we already have a good amount of recording uh, for this episode. I think we're just going to end it here. Been going for 20 minutes. So in the next episode, we should have all those buy orders done and hopefully more packs and stuff to open. Um, I'm just hoping more content comes out soon. I think um, a lot more content comes out really soon, actually. If I go and check. Uh, if the menus didn't glitch. Okay. Where's future content? December 13th, I'm get we're getting 11th inning. So that's only in five days. Sorry, six. Yeah, six days. Six days. Okay, and it's six days. And then there's moments. And second conquest my moments since third con Oh, fuck. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to work on past content right now. Then, by December 13th, we'll have a lot more to do with 11th inning coming around. Extra innings, events. Not going to touch that. I don't like touching events anymore, honestly. I'm not a fan of it. It's just making me lose my shit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm losing my mind when I play events now. So, I'm not really going to touch it. Moments in second conquest map and moments in third conquest map. Definitely hype for the amount of content that is about to be dropped. I don't know what they're going to do with these conquest maps. I think they're going to go all out on this extra and this 11th inning program. I think it's going to be fucking nuts. For the fact that there are three conquest maps coming, I think there's going to be a shit ton of rewards. I think we're getting multiple boss packs where I think, you know what they, you know, the coolest way for them to do it is that if we get, 
a boss pack that was like, let's say, three random. It's not three. It's not like, don't give me the first inning, then the second inning, or the third inning of boss pack. I thought that would be cool. I'm not going to lie. But give us like a boss pack with three um, different bosses from different innings. Mix the bump. Something like that. Or make it so you just give us the boss packs multiple times over where we get to choose like two or one or something like that. I don't know. It seems like that's how they're going to do it. Uh, well, I, I don't think we're getting one boss pack. I think we're going to be getting multiple of us picking from multiple different bosses. Uh, I think they're definitely going to have the worst bosses to start and it's going to get more and more hyped. I don't think they're going to make it as easy as, oh yeah, go ahead and pick pools. Then you can pick Tread, then you can pick, pick Schmidt. There you go. I don't think they're going to make it that easy. But uh, yeah, I don't know how they're going to do it. I'm curious. It's coming in six days. Uh, I'm going to be very curious on how they do it. They're not going to do a stream or anything, so I'm just going to have to discover it myself. But uh, yeah, it's going to do it for the video, guys. Hit thumbs up button. If you did enjoy, subscribe more content like this. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.